just outline for us what we should be expecting. Yeah, Marie, we're probably going to get a revision here in which uh, the growth expectations will be upgraded. And the commission will sound rather optimistic about the prospects for growth this year extending into next. And this is combination of the recovery fund being paid off, the vaccination campaign now, which is really now much faster in Europe. And, of course, the easing of restrictions that should really see the economic momentum really accelerate in the European Union. Now, on the vaccination front, Marie, Germany now is vaccinated on average 800 thousand people to 1 million people on a daily basis. That is a huge number and the new data is telling us that almost 30 million Germans have now had one shot of the COVID vaccine. So again, that's the biggest economy in Europe and you can see that that rollout is really pressing and pushing ahead now. You also caught up with the Italian Europe min minister. What did he tell you about the recovery? Yeah, we did. And look, we spoke uh, exclusively with uh, Vincenzo Mendola, who's the Italian Minister for European Affairs. And what you have to factor here is that Italy is stepping a huge amount of money from the European Union, both in grants, credit. They're also borrowing in the market. But there is a feeling, and I walked away with this impression from the interview, that the Italians really do feel this is a breakthrough moment for the country. They have the best player that's coming out on the field. That's Mario Draghi, and this is a real growth opportunity for the country. Let's take a look. The long term and the mid term of the Italian political view is also the sustainability of the public debt. So boosting the growth, boosting public and private investment, we see that there is the possibility in the mid term, according also to the European semester, to have the debt under control. And that was Vincenzo Amendola, the Italian Minister for European Affairs. And Anne-Marie, you know, of course, there's very high expectations, but the question is whether or not Mario Draghi will succeed in pushing through reforms. That has always been an issue for the Italian economy over the past 10 years. We'll have to wait and see.